guys, T-Mart here, and today I've got some Black Ops 3 information for you guys that I think is going to make a lot of you very, very happy. So, a think with me here, what is the single most frustrating thing to die to in Black Ops 3? The Rejack Special Ability, without a doubt. It's so frustrating to die to somebody that you've already killed. It's just like, it makes me rage like no other when that happens. It doesn't happen too often, but when it does, I get very upset. Especially when you're on a streak or, you know, kind of capping an objective or stuff like that. Like, it's just, it's, it's, it's blood boiling when it happens. So, I'm here to tell you guys that the Rejack ability has been nerfed, and it's a pretty big nerf. So, late last night, there was a uh, small patch that went out on Xbox. They haven't released the patch notes yet, so we don't know exactly what they changed. But uh, we do know that the Rejack ability was nerfed in the fact that you don't don't stay on your score streak anymore. So previously, if you have Rejack, you go down into like final stand, you pop back up, you're still back on your score streak. You don't lose your progress. If you have 800 out of 1100 score towards getting your Wraith, you're still at 800 out of 1100 score. So if you come back up and you kill that guy, you're still on your score streak, which is what made it so useful and is why so many people were using it. Now, when you go down into that kind of like final stand stance and then you come back up, your score streak is gonna be back to zero. So it's gonna be pretty much like you died. You just have the choice of if you wanna respawn in your spawn or if you wanna respawn in that same position you were just in. So uh, this ability is nowhere near as useful as it used to be now and I think in general it's gonna make it you know much less used. Like it's not gonna be as common in the battlefield. It's still gonna be a very, very good specialist ability in search and destroy. Obviously when there's no respawns and you're able to actually respawn yourself into a round you've already died in, that's pretty useful. But, uh, you know, apart from that, it's really not that useful of a special ability anymore. And uh, I, that's good. Like, I, I don't like Rejack, honestly. So, I understand that it does have a place in the game. And, and, like, even though it's the most annoying specialist ability out of them all, it's not really that good. Even when it kept you on your score streak, like, yeah, it gives you a second chance at life. But think about some of the other abilities in the game that you can use otherwise. Think about Vision Pulse to be able to see an entire, like, fourth of the map of enemies. Or, you know, the, the War Machine that just instantly blows people up and you get, like, five kills every time you get it out and stuff like that. Like, you know, obviously there are more useful abilities and powers out there. But it's just like, it, it was it was so annoying, man. Like, I, I, you guys remember back in the day, like, Painkiller and Last Stand and Final Chance and stuff like that? Like, those things were the cancer of Call of Duty. So why in the world would Treyarch say, okay, instead of letting somebody drop down on their butt and shoot you with a pistol, we're gonna make it so they drop down on their butt and then they can hop back up and shoot you with their regular gun. Like, why would they ever think that was a good idea? I don't know, it's just, that's my personal opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I, I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys later. A bunch of great Black Ops 3 videos coming soon. And make sure you guys check out these two videos on screen if you haven't seen them yet. Catch you guys later. Peace out.